Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Raylynn. My husband and I have been on a journey to become debt-free and more financially stable since November of 2023. We utilize a zero-based budget to tell our money where to go instead of wondering where it went. After adapting to this lifestyle, we noticed the financial aspect of our lives changed for the better. I film these videos to hold ourselves accountable and hopefully inspire others along the way. If you're interested in following along, just keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, today is going to be a cash stuffing video for the second week of March. I can't believe that already. Oh my gosh. I love March. I love spring. March is my daughter's birthday month, so it's like bittersweet. Oh, I don't know. She's turning six, so yeah, it's a fun time. I, I love watching her grow, but like at the same time, I don't want her to grow up. I just want her to be my baby forever. You know, if you're a mom, you understand. Um, all right, so let's just jump into this video today. Um, starting off with my wallet as always to see what we did not spend this week. In groceries, we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, $56 left over. I'll set that aside to put in our extra debt envelope. Um, gas, I still have 30. Um, I'm going to pull the 10 out and I'm going to put that in my gas envelope in my binder because I believe there's 90 bucks in there and I want to make it a hundred. So yeah, we'll leave the 20 in here in my wallet. Um, household was spent. Kids, we'll roll that over and we'll roll over miscellaneous as well. I do have receipts in here that I need to scan into my Fetch Rewards. If you guys don't know what Fetch Rewards is, it's an app where you can scan your receipts and your receipts turn into points and those points turn into gift cards. And if you're interested in signing up, I'll leave my referral code down below. If you do use that, we both get bonus points just so you're aware. Um, don't feel inclined to use it if you don't want to, but I'll just leave it down below just in case. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot to pull my cash stuffing sheet out of my um, planner. So go ahead and do that really quick. Um, I use the budget binder from the Aesthetic Dollar in case you were wondering. Okay, so this is what I'll be looking at just to the side. Okay. Groceries is getting the usual $200. One, two, three. I don't want to use like good 20s. The bank gave me some pretty nice bills. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so groceries this week has 51, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Drinks is getting 20. Gas is going to be getting 20. So it now has $40. Household is going to be getting 40. So what I'm going to do is just put 20 in my wallet and then another 20 in my binder. Kids will put in the binder and miscellaneous. Um, yeah, I'll just put miscellaneous in the binder too. That way I'm not, you know, tempted to spend it. Um, so that's it for my wallet for the week. Okay, going into high priority sinking funds. Um, I apologize for the lighting, you guys. Um, it's so gloomy out today. I'm actually really excited. I love this weather here in Arizona. We lived in Alaska for eight years and I like couldn't stand the rain and, you know, depressing weather all the time. But moving back to Arizona, it's like super hot and always sunny. And I just 
can't wait for a rainy day. Like a desert storm is the best, the best kind of storm ever. I love them. So, okay. Groceries is not getting stuffed in here. Drinks is not getting stuffed in here. Gas, I was gonna put the $10 from my wallet in here. So gas in the binder has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, plus the 40 in my wallet. So 140 total. Household, we put 20 in my wallet, so I'm gonna put a 20 in here. Um, household now has 50, 70, 80 dollars. We did have to pull quite a bit out of here last week because we have a home inspection. We rent and um, we want to renew our lease, so we have a home inspection coming up really soon. So I had to buy a bunch of cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Um, kids is getting 10. Okay, so kids now has 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, plus the 10 in my wallet, so 90 total. Miscellaneous is getting $10. $10 for miscellaneous. Justin is going to get... 40 pick out well whatever they're all kind of good um and two tens okay sorry i keep bumping my head into this um stand phone stand thing okay justin now has 20 30 40 dollars for the week Coffee is getting skipped. Personal hygiene is getting $10. So personal hygiene now has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars. Baby needs is not getting stuff. And we spent all the money in here to get diapers and wipes. And Target had like a deal if you spend or if you buy like two of the mega pack diapers, you get like a $10 or $15 gift card. So I did that twice. So I have two $15 gift cards to go towards that for next time. Um, pet care. <gasps> Ooh, I forgot. I'm actually gonna switch out this envelope. I made a different envelope for this category and I love it so much more. So, isn't it so cute? I have two dash hounds, Arlo and Zeke is their name. So I made this for them and I love it. So, um, the weans are gonna be getting $10. Let's just get this one. Okay, the weans now have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. It's so cute. I love it. Um, clothing is going to get $20 this week. Clothing now has 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 240, 245. These bills are crisp. I don't know if you could hear them. Um, school is gonna get five dollars. You, these are all gross. Whatever. Okay. School now has five, ten, and fifteen. So Costco's getting skipped. Electricity is getting five dollars. Okay. Electricity now has 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Yearly subscriptions is getting skipped. Vehicle maintenance is getting 50. 
So vehicle maintenance now has 100, 200, 253, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. So 360 in vehicle maintenance. Creeping up to the $500 mark for that. Awesome. Health is also getting 50. So health now has 150, 250, 70, 90, 310, 330, 340, 350, 355, 360 as well for health. Nice. Copays is getting $5. So Copays now has 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 dollars. Medical is getting 30. So we'll do 20 and 10. So medical now has $500 set aside, 600, 700, 750, 770, 790, 800. Yay. Getting closer to our goal. Our goal is $1,000 for this one. And that is it for my high priority binder. Going into low priority, we're gonna flip to birthdays. Okay, birthdays is getting $20. So birthdays now has 51, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 65. So 265 in birthdays. Gifts is getting 20. So gifts now has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. We did pull out of here last week to get a gift for somebody. Um, that is it for this binder. And going into the holiday sinking funds binder. Um, oh, I need to, we'll do it in a minute. So this $20 I'm going to set aside right here because I also made an envelope for our 10th anniversary and that's where it goes. So we're going to go to Mother's Day and Mother's Day is getting 10. So Mother's Day now has 20, 30, $40. Father's Day is also getting 10. So Father's Day now has 20, 30, $40 as well. Um, back to school is getting 20. Back to school now has 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 200. And back to school, we're halfway there. Well, um, I think I want to get like 500 in here because I want this to cover my daughter's clothes, shoes, and school supplies and everything. So I think 500 is better than $400. You know, with prices these days, everything's so expensive. Um, oh, yeah. This is where my 10th anniversary envelope will be going because our anniversary falls around back to school. It's on August 8th and here in Arizona, I think last year it started August 3rd. So I just want to have everything in order with how it falls along the year. So our anniversary is going to get the 20 and then also $10. So it has $30 for our 10th anniversary. My husband and I have actually been together for, oh gosh, 12 years this year, but married 10. We got married really young. At, we were 20 years old. <laughs> Wouldn't change a thing. 
Christmas is the next one getting stuffed and Christmas is getting $10. So I'm going to see if I have a better 10. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Or I can pull these for a 20. There we go. So Christmas now has 50, 100, 120. I just hate putting a wrinkly 10 in a, I don't know. Okay. And that is it for the binders. I'm going to stuff an envelope in my 52 week savings challenge. Um, I'm going to do 37 this week. So let me cross off 37 right here. Okay. Oh, we gotta find it. Okay, <laughs> 24, 30, 35, 36. This should be 37. Yeah. Okay, 37. So I have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37. All going into this. Oh shoot, where does it go now? <laughs> 42, 41, 40. Okay, 37 goes right here. Sweet. So that is the 52 week savings challenge. I got this from Lux Designs. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and I can't wait to finish it. Okay, so now we will put the money we did not spend into the extra debt envelope. So I don't remember how much it was. We have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 56 dollars that we will go ahead and add into here. Okay, so now with that added in, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 156 to put towards our debt payment this month. So far, ooh, this is a lot of cash going into this envelope. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. That is all for this week's cash stuffing video. If you made it this far in this video, go ahead and leave me a cactus emoji. Those are my favorite emojis. Well, I like the cactus and the one that's like this. So leave me either one of those actually. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.